Welcome to the world of fermentation technology. Friends, this discussion is regarding filter sterilization of air. This talk is a part of NMEICD project entitled Creation of E-Contents on Fermentation Technology. Sponsored by the MHRD Government of India. Before starting with the actual topic, let me brief about necessity of sterile air in fermentation industry. Aerobic organisms require air for their growth. Some organisms require less quantities of air, while other require air in huge quantities. There is composed of gases, suspended particles, and moisture. Thus, when we sterilize air, we are removing all the particles and moisture from it. When air supplied, it should be free from organism otherwise, those organisms present in air will contaminate the fermenter. Thus, there should be sterile. It is generally sterilized by filter. Filter sterilization of air depends upon the content of air like suspended matter its size, type, and moisture content. Filters are of different types based on its applications. Types of filters 1. Filter with pore size smaller than the particle size. 2. Filter with pore size larger than the particle size. 1. Filter with pore size smaller than the particle size. They are absolute filters. They are fixed pore filters. If not physically damaged, are efficient to remove 100% microorganisms. 2. Filter with pore size larger than the particle size. They are known as depth filters. They are non-fixed pore filters. Composed of felts, woven yarns, asbestos pads and loosely packed fiberglass. The terms absolute and depth can be misleading, as they imply that absolute filtration only occurs at the surface of the filter, whereas absolute filters also have depth and filtration occurs within the filter as well as at the surface. Methods of suspended solids separation from a fluid during filtration. Inertial impaction. Diffusion. Electrostatic attraction. Interception. Inertial impaction. Suspended particles in a fluid stream have momentum. The fluid in which the particles are suspended will flow through the filter by the root of least resistance. However, the particles, because of their momentum, tend to travel in straight lines and may therefore become impacted upon the fibers, where they may then remain. Inertial impaction is more significant in the filtration of gases than in the filtration of liquids. Diffusion Extremely small particles suspended in a fluid are subject to Brownian motion, which is random movement due to collisions with fluid molecules. Thus, such small particles tend to deviate from the fluid flow pattern, and may become impacted upon the filtered fibers. The fusion is more significant in the filtration of gases than in the filtration of liquids. Thus, there should be sterile. It is generally sterilized by filter. Filter sterilization of air depends upon the content. The terms absolute and depth can be misleading, as they imply that absolute filtration only occurs at the surface of the filter whereas absolute filters also have depth and filtration occurs within the filter as well as at the surface. This may occur by several mechanisms. More than one particle may arrive at the pore simultaneously, and a regularly shaped particle may bridge a pore. Once a particle has been trapped by a mechanism other than interception the pore may be partially included enabling the entrapment of smaller particles. Interception is equally important to mechanism in the filtration of gases and liquids. Sterilization of air. Aerobic fermentations require the continuous addition of considerable quantities of sterile air. Although it is possible to sterilize air by heat treatment, the most commonly used sterilization process is filtration. Fixed pore filters which have an absolute rating are very widely used in the fermentation industry and several manufacturers produce filtration systems for air sterilization. These systems, like those for the sterilization of liquids, consist of pleated membrane cartridges designed to be accommodated in stainless steel modules. The most common construction material used for the pleated membranes for air sterilization is PTFE polyetetrafluoroethylene which is hydrophobic, 
and is therefore resistant to wetting. Also, polytetrafluoroethylene filters may be steam sterilized and are resistant to ammonia, which may be injected into the air stream prior to the filter for pH control. As was seen for the filter sterilization of liquids, it is essential that a pre-filter is incorporated upstream of the absolute filter. The pre-filter traps large particles such as dust, oil, and carbon from the compressor and pipe scale, and rust from the pipe work. The use of a coalescing combined United Pre-Filter also ensures the removal of water from the air. Entrained water is coalesced in the filter, their flow being from the inside of the filter to the outside and is discharged via an automatic drain. Sterilization of fermenter exhaust air. In many traditional fermentations, the exhaust gas from the fermenter was vented without sterilization, or vented through relatively inefficient depth filters. With the advent of the use of recombinant organisms, and a greater awareness of safety, and emission levels of allergic compounds, the containment of exhaust air is more common and in the case of recombinant organisms, compulsory. Fixed pore membrane modules are also used for this application but the system must be able to cooperate with the sterilization of water saturated air, at a relatively high temperature, and carrying a large contamination level. In addition, homemade overflow from the fermenter into the air exhaust line. Thus, some form of pretreatment of the exhaust gas is necessary before it enters the absolute filter. This pretreatment may be a hydrophobic pre-filter or a mechanical separator to remove water, aerosol particles, and foam. The pretreated air then fed to a 0.2 microns hydrophobic filter. Again, it is important to appreciate that the filtration system must be steam sterilizable. 